Hello, my name is Luis Rojas. I'm the Director of Product Management at Guardian Analytics. And today I'm going to be taking you through a brief presentation of Guardian Analytics' new omni-channel fraud prevention. As a fraud analyst, when I log in, the first thing I see is the dashboard screen. Here on the dashboard, I can see data integrated from multiple channels or backend uh, systems. I can see a summary of alerts across all of my channels. Uh, and this volume can be aggregated by week, by month, quarter, depending on how you configure uh, each of these widgets. I can also see uh, the count of high risk alerts and medium risk alerts on a daily basis, uh, which you can see is a much more manageable uh, number. And I can also view longer trends if needed. But to begin my daily investigations, I'm going to click on the alert tab, where again, I can see now uh, alerts by account, by channel, so I can see uh, which channel generated a particular type of alert. I can see wide alert, alerts, uh, online alerts. And uh, the columns are specific to the type of uh, alert that I am investigating. So for example, I see a number of different uh, wire columns. And then uh, as I scroll over to, to the right, I can see uh, uh, columns that are particular to uh, the online channel. I can filter uh, these by selecting on a column selection, selection that will let me just bring those over into view um, and very quickly um, investigate those. I can also collapse the number of columns to the minimal set so that I can focus on the risk factors and activities uh, that are deemed to be uh, uh, anomalous or unusual for that particular account. And uh, one of the first things I notice here is that uh, this particular account, John Jones Limited, is one of my commercial accounts, high net worth accounts, has a medium risk wire alert and also a high risk online session alert. So uh, I'm going to start my investigation by zeroing in on this particular account. Now, um, in order to uh, further filter this, I'm going to use the quick search bar to just type in John and now it isolates all of the alerts for that particular account and puts the highest risk ones at the top. So I'm going to uh, select this particular row and double click it to bring up the account details view for John Jones uh, Limited. So here, the most obvious alert is first the, uh, the red alert right here that occurred in the online channel. So I can see here by these various rows that these pertain to online whereas these activities pertain to wire. And as I scroll down, I can see which ones are, uh, which risk factors are associated with wire alerts and which ones are associated with uh, online sessions. So that gives me an, a quick idea of the risk contributors to this particular alert, but I can also double click to get further detail. And this pops up the alert detail that gives me a minute by minute description of what happened during that session. So I can see by the ones that are underlined in red that these are unusual or anomalous activities. Uh, there was a login failure followed by a multi-channel, uh, a multi-factor authentication failure. Then once they succeeded getting in, they immediately changed uh, the password. And uh, my attention is also drawn down here to this wire transfer template approved. So it looks like they took uh, this wire uh, transfer template called AP Payments 2016, and they modified it. Uh, they modified the account number and a routing number within that template. Now, why is that important? When I click on the next subsequent alert, which is this yellow alert, I see that uh, this updates to show that this was a wire. So now I'm looking at the transaction specific data that came through the payment hub uh, rather than the online channel. And I see that uh, Guardian Analytics uh, recommended an automatic hold on that because it was a uh, medium risk. Uh, and it looks like that came from the same template that was modified uh, just a few minutes before in the online channel. So uh, this is sufficient context here to help me make a decision, but just to make sure I can get on the phone and do an account verification with my customer and I have all this rich data at my fingertips so I don't have to log into various systems uh, like the core or my CRM system or call center system. Uh, all of this data can be passed to me uh, and uh, I can engage in a very productive conversation with the account. 
And based on the results of that conversation, I might decide that I can go ahead and release that wire, but in this case, I'm going to cancel the wire because this tells me that this was a fraudulent wire. And I can, of course, start a uh, case documentation in here as well. So this is just a quick way to illustrate how within a few minutes, I can zero in on particular clusters of alerts that are of concern. I can have a very productive conversation with my account, uh, which reduces the overall friction with the account and uh, also uh, uh, results in high degree of satisfaction on the top on the part of my account because now they see that uh, we have their back and we're looking out uh, to, for their best interest in making sure that they don't incur any losses. Uh, please stay tuned for further uh, updates to this demo. You will see subsequent demos that will focus in on some of the uh, more advanced features of Guardian Analytics new omnichannel fraud prevention.